Scooterflow has released an update as of today, the 26th of May 2022, and it has some awesome new features, ranging from physics improvements to camera changes, and a feature which I'm excited about, the land prediction feature, which will immensely help you land air tricks better and easier. In today's video, I'll be going over the update and showcasing some of the features so you know what to expect from the newest update. But before you do, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video and watch it down and subscribing, because this is the go-to place for Scooter Flow content videos and all things Scooter Flow related. So make sure you're subscribed. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with the new ragdoll feature, which looks dope. The Scooter Flow team have done a great job by updating this feature. If you're not sure what a ragdoll is, it's basically what happens to the player model when it fails a trick. Before it kind of looked unnatural, but in this new update, the ragdoll feature looks more realistic and doesn't clip with the ground like in the previous versions. The Scooter's ragdoll has also changed and falls in a more natural looking position, which looks a ton better than it did before. These are small details, but I'm glad the team are taking notice of them and still keeping to the realism of the game. Having multiple different camera modes in action sports games is pretty much a must have at this point. And the creators of Scooter Flow have realized this and not only improved the first person mode, but have replaced older camera modes, which didn't benefit the player as well. They've added a new offset camera mode, which is really good for when you're trying to get that perfect grind. I really like messing around with the cameras in the game and having not only a third and first person camera mode, but having an additional camera position really adds to the immersiveness that the game developers are trying to capture. One of the things I said in my honest review about Scooter Flow was that the grinds were not easy or fun to do. But now with a recent update, they've changed it so that the deck will lock onto grindable objects and this makes a huge difference and I can now grind with ease, unlocking cool lines and trick variations. It's really nice to see that the game developers are actually listening to the people that play their game and taking in their thoughts and their opinions. I'm currently studying game development and I've realized from a personal experience that having peer feedback or feedback in general is super helpful to the success of your game. When Pipe came out, one of the most highly demanded things was not only multiplayer and maps, but bike customization as well. So to have a custom scooter maker and scooter flow from the get-go was amazing. And now it's been improved by having it as a full screen application, along with the addition of new grip tapes. They also mentioned that there is another version in the works, but it's not quite done yet. So they're still working out some bugs, but for now they've updated the scooter customization and it looks really cool. So I'm happy with that for now. When creating a game based on an action sport, it's important to have the tricks look as realistic as possible. So the player feels like they're actually achieving the tricks they're setting out to do with as much realism as possible. So updating the tricks as much as possible until you can nail the realism of the tricks is vital. And that's what the developers released with this update. The bar spins look smoother, as do the tail whips, and even the flips, which result in amazing looking flares, like this double flare. Yo, yes! Yes, an actual clean one. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh my God. That took me ages to get, so you better leave a like on the video. Thanks. I've mentioned in previous videos that the physics kind of felt off and unnatural, but once again, the developers have been listening and they're working hard to make the physics as realistic as possible. The fakies are now more realistic as well, so you won't be spinning out of them madly for no reason. They've also adjusted the hop height so that it can accommodate for the new grind update as well. They also added more weight to the character because it felt too light in the last version, which resulted in the spins, flips and hops being inaccurate. Now I saved the best bit for last. This is the best update they've added to date. And this is the land prediction or correction feature. When doing airs, I often land weirdly because of the physics, but they added an update which helps the player land an air easier in quarters, which is quite a vital part of the game. You know, you're doing quite a lot of tricks in the air. So having a smooth transition really does help when you're doing tricks. By the way, the best way to air is to hold the stick down and push up as you leave the quarter. That way the player does a nice full 180 in the air. You can do the trick in the air as well and then land in the quarter with a nice amount of speed and you can continue the flow because if you hop too early you'll either kind of fly out onto the deck of the thing or you'll land flat and neither of those are really good options to be honest it also helps when hopping into quarters it kind of aids you into a transition you can see it best when you do things like 270 drop-ins but when you do a flip it kind of cancels it out and from what i've noticed the physics work well enough where you can adjust the position yourself and yeah so hence when i do a flare you kind of get the rotation, but then you kind of have to do the rest yourself. That's not a bad feature. It just gives you a bit more freedom with the flares, I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Is this update perfect and without flaws? No, but it has come leaps and bounds since its first release on Steam all those months ago. And it's really exciting to see because it really shows that the developers are actually passionate about the game and listen to their audience, which is hard to say for some games. Hmm. <laughs> But I'm super happy with what they've done so far and I'm eagerly waiting to see what they can produce in the future. Also, 
please check out the top corner of the title screen for more details because it will always be there and it may answer more questions that I may not have addressed in this video. You can also join their Discord to keep up to date with all their releases and socialize with others about the game. Also, if you want to see some of the tutorial videos I made on this game, you can click the iCard or go into the description or go to the end of the video and click the videos there. But I have made loads of tutorials on this game. So if you want to know how to mod it, those are the videos to watch. Remember, like I said at the start of the video, this is the go-to place for anything scooter flow video update or scooter flow in general related. So make sure you are subscribed and leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.